Last week at the Consulate General of Argentina in New York took place the official presentation of this year's upcoming Six New Docta Festival, which is planned from August 28th to September 7th. The cultural attaché and deputy consul general Eduardo Almirantierna welcomed the audience and stressed the cultural and charitable importance of the festival. The concert program featured Dr. Artist Solange Merdinian, mezzo-soprano Sammy Merdinian on the violin, Yves de Haramraj cello, with special guests pianist Christopher Guzman and bass player, composer Edward Perez and percussionist Shane Shanahan playing works by Beethoven, Chopin, Edward Perez, Ariel Ramirez, among others. Over the years, the new Docta, which was co-founded by siblings Solange and Sami Merdinian and cellist Yves de Haramraj, has attracted large, diverse audiences across all ages and all socio-economic backgrounds who are devoted to culture, arts and entertainment, children's education, and social progress with the idea that music can inspire, music can transform, and music can truly make a difference. Docta International Music Festival and Foundation brings world-class classical musicians to perform in live concerts to inspire children of all backgrounds to nurture the next generation of musical talent and to build cultural bridges between the United States, South America, and the rest of the world. Soon, the sixth new Docta Festival will kick off and will showcase nearly 30 activities bringing free concerts with world-class performances, visits to public schools, sports clubs, hospitals, community engagements, private lessons, educational concerts, master classes, and inspirational partnerships with cultural organizations and universities to the cities of Cordoba and Buenos Aires in Argentina. It's a great pleasure to have uh, Sami Mardinian, Solange Mardinian, Yves de Marche. It's the fourth year since we are hosting the festival here. It's the fifth, sixth uh, New Doctor International uh, Festival and they do a great job in Argentina. It's incredible. They construct bridges, cultural bridges between Argentina, the United States, and the musical work they develop with public institutions, hospitals, schools, master classes. It's amazing and incredible. The least we can do here, the Consulate of Argentina in New York, to support these Argentinian, Armenian Argentinian talents is to support them, to encourage them to go ahead and to spread the word because they deserve the best of luck. So New Docta is for us a dream come true from many years. But the moment we left Argentina, I was 16, Solange was 14, and we uh, just, uh, as soon as we moved, we wanted to give back to the, to the place that made us love music, made us uh, have the passion that we have. We both have, obviously, uh, very strong Armenian roots and we would love to uh, bring New Doctor to Armenia at some point uh, but yeah starting in Argentina and uh, just giving back and helping young talent and helping society in general with all our events uh, we we don't focus just on the mu musicians down there but we just want to expose young kids to, um, to music we want to go and use music as a he the healing power of music, bringing it to hospitals for patients and families, and bring excellent artists to come play with us to uh, ex to play for the Argentinian community, both in Cordoba and Buenos Aires. Now that we've established a new doctor in Argentina, it would, it would, would be amazing to create that uh, cultural bridge uh, also with Armenia because um, you know, we have 
we are 100% Armenian, we love Armenia, we go perform in Armenia, but we've never brought this uh, festival, the, the scale of the magnitude of this festival to Armenia. And obviously it would be, uh, I mean, right now it's a dream, but as, yeah, as we did it with Argentina, it came true. So uh, it would be great to somehow connect uh, U.S., Argentina, and Armenia. The main thing about the festival that we think is super important because education for young generations to appreciate classical music or music in general, it's important. The social impact that we can create for people that don't have access to this. In a lot of countries, in Armenia, we're lucky. People grow up with music. In a lot of countries, they don't have access to this, like in South America. So we try to make it closer to them. And then Basically, free concerts and free master classes. So the students that want to continue the career, let's say, in the university, we go and work with them. We bring artists that are the best artists, international artists. We bring them down to South America so they can learn further their mastering of their instrument, singing, and everything else. And of course, of course, we always wanted to bring it to Armenia. Um, we started with something, since we are from Argentina, we started in Argentina because we know we have a support system, we know people that work there, um, so we can work together in creating something grand, which is a festival. In Armenia, we would love to do, that's our next dream, you know, to bring, it wouldn't be exactly the same, I think we would have to make it a little different because people already have the culture incorporated into who they are. I think, it, I think what I would do more is to bring people, like professors and places like that to so the students can further their career and maybe do more competitions and maybe other sorts of activities that are relatable um, but of course it would be a dream I mean like as Navur said right like we're a cafe ole are you Argentinian or are you, are you Armenian honestly like I'm everything right now I'm Argentinian Armenian American you know it's all part of this unanimous passion that I think with music we can make everything a one Today, more than ever, music is really, really important, not just to uplift people's spirits and to entertain people, to distract them from the daily activities, but it goes beyond that, especially with children. Children need fundamentally, and they need something to allow them to create, to feel good about themselves, to imagine, to think outside of the mundane, of the everyday life. And so we hope that our passion for music can translate to that opening of an eye or that ooh or little girls running up to Solange thinking, you're so fabulous, how do you sing like that? That kind of reaction really at that age will stay with a child for a lifetime. We also, it's not just children. I mean, let's face it, we're all children at heart even when we're older and I think when people come to our concert, it's an absolute privilege for them to come support us, to listen to our music. But we hope that we give them a chance to let go and to perhaps see something through a different set of eyes, through a children's set of eyes, through uh, something that's not spoiled. And in that way, if we all enjoy and, and work together, I really feel like we can make the world a better place.
Llevamos la cuarta edición de este festival con nuevas actividades, nuevos alumnos eh, y nuevos invitados que traemos todos los años aquí a la ciudad de Córdoba. Este año fueron los invitados del Catalyst Quartet y Philip Edward Fisher, un pianista. Este año uh, fue también el tema de música y deportes. Apertura en el Colegio Taborín con las inferiores de Talleres y Belgrano, que son dos clubes de fútbol muy importantes aquí en la ciudad de Córdoba. Bueno, ahí tuvimos la oportunidad de comparar y de hacer las similitudes entre el deporte y la música, la disciplina que compartimos juntos. Mírense, trabajen como equipo, si no, acá no hay goleada. Este año también contamos con la especial presentación de la Cantoría de la Merced en un concierto en el que combinamos su música con la música de los artistas invitados en la Basílica de la Merced. Así que esa también fue una actividad eh, muy especial. La excelencia de la Cantoría aportó mucho para este festival.
Este año fuimos otra vez en el hospital infantil para tocar conciertos y hacer visitas. Por supuesto, fue un momento muy emotivo. And uh, this was a very powerful experience for me, actually, a very uh, emotional experience. Um, after the experience later, I felt that this had had a, a deep and meaningful impact on me. La música tiene el poder de cambiar uh, uh, muchas cosas en una vida. Tuvimos la colaboración junto a Proarte, que es una fundación que estuvo aquí presente en Córdoba por muchísimos años y tuvimos la oportunidad de unir las fuerzas y hacer algo en conjunto, que fue el concierto mayor que tuvimos en el Teatro San Martín. También realizamos las clases magistrales eh, donde tenemos dos convenios. Estuvimos con la Universidad Nacional de Córdoba, donde ya llevamos cuatro años trabajando con estudiantes. Eh, y este año se sumó el Conservatorio Félix de Garzón, que es de la Universidad Provincial, donde también realizamos clases magistrales y clases particulares. I think, uh, was a learning experience for all of us. Uh, for the students and for the professors. Uh, so it was a very uh, joyful and meaningful experience. Nos sentimos a gusto y nosotros aprendimos y yo creo que ellos también aprendieron. Es muy lindo ver que lo que estamos haciendo se está difundiendo. Cada año las clases van incrementando en número y los participantes son muchos más. Se está creando un una colaboración y una familia ya en sí con los estudiantes y nosotros, los grupos que traemos todos los años. It reminds me how much classical music, uh, which is played all over the world, is in some ways a very universal language. Working with one person or a small group of people in an educational setting, you can really share your ideas about music and about who you are and who you hope we can all become together through music. El trabajo que se está realizando con la Orquesta de Escuela Mediterránea es algo increíble aquí en Córdoba. 150 chicos, 200 chicos participaron este año. Es nuestro segundo año eh, yendo y haciendo una jornada junto de ellos. Y fue la verdad que muy gratificante ver el cambio, eh, cómo la orquesta va creciendo, cómo los eh, instrumentistas van absorbiendo las enseñanzas y cómo se han superado en un año. Así que bueno, también es algo que nos gratifica mucho el ser parte. Bueno, la verdad que es algo que es muy especial eh, que pasa durante el festival. Yo creo que es súper importante en un festival internacional poder tener un intercambio cultural. Tocar conciertos en espacios que no son normales como este, un teatro o sino llegar a una escuela pública o tocar en un hospital. Es nuestra misión, es traer música clásica a lugares donde no es tan accesible, traer música clásica de una nueva forma. La música no es solo sobre la experiencia en sí, sino que también ayuda a un joven a crecer en confianza to learn to interact with others, 
uh, to know how to communicate to others in a very meaningful way. Tenemos la oportunidad y la gran satisfacción de poder compartir nuestros nuestras actividades, nuestra música en Buenos Aires. Realizamos eh, un concierto didáctico en la Escuela Técnica de la Boca. Luego dimos clases magistrales en la Universidad Nacional de las Artes. Y cerramos nuestra participación en toda Argentina en un concierto en la comunidad Amihai. Todos los años el festival va creciendo, vamos llegando más gente, se va difundiendo más y todo esto es gracias al apoyo de varios sponsors. Contamos con el apoyo de la Embajada de Estados Unidos en Argentina, como también algunas empresas argentinas, otras de Estados Unidos. Nosotros necesitamos de ese, de ese apoyo para poder seguir realizando estas actividades para el beneficio de la sociedad en años siguientes. El festival es un puente entre los Estados Unidos y la Argentina. Ver estos músicos invitados uh, compartir en la cultura de Argentina es otra manera que podemos inspirar a los jóvenes. La música es todo sobre comunicación. So... This is one of the most important aspects that this festival. Music almost bypasses the brain and goes directly to the heart or to our soul.